This is the second uh, tutorial for the Duke Energy SunSense program. This uh, rebate is actually going to be at 1.30 p.m. on January 14th. And again, that's January 14th at 1.30 p.m. Um, the tutorial is going to go over how to access the form, the SunSense program. Um, again, just like the FPNL, the data will be provided to you, and you will just need to put it into the actual document. As I mentioned the last time around, the form filler is a tool that can be used. As a tool, um, it may or may not work. Please take two to five seconds. If it's not working, then ditch the form filler and copy and paste the information into the ap application. So um, as you can see, this is the SunSense program. And what we're going to do is in the uh, information that is sent to you, you will have the link to this main page if it's a residential or if it's a commercial application. And so on this page, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this part here, which is the application process. What you can do is you're going to go here and you're going to uh, log on to the actual um, SunSense program. At actually at exactly 1.30, um, if you refresh it enough times, then it will uh, allow you to have access. Um, you could either back out of this uh, link or you can actually go into the actual link and then try to refresh until exactly 1.30 and I'll let you in. Again, once you click on the online application, it will actually uh, bring you to a username and password you can put in the information. However, uh, you can see the application, but it will not allow you to start the application until that time. Now, let's go through the actual application. And again, this is going to be very similar to the FPNL process. Um, all the information is mandatory in the uh, Duke Energy uh, application. The first section is going to have the application's information. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to have to put in uh, the name of the customer, the address, all the pieces of information for the address, uh, the phone numbers, and um, pretty much you're going to just any contact information. The next section has to do with the installer information. The information will be provided to you uh, likewise, um, and that's going to include everything from the name of the installer to the email address to the address of the installer. Um, the contractor's license will be provided, and the Knight CERTA uh, certification can be blank here. So you do not need to worry about uh, putting in information here. The last section has to do with the system information. And uh, you put in things like the manufacturer of the panel, um, how many watts, the number of panels, and uh, the kilowatt hours, um, the capacity. In here, uh, you're just going to, uh, you're going to basically, it's going to take the 40, 40 times the uh, 10K, to, or 40 times the 250, and it's going to come up with the maximum uh, 20,000. So again, you don't really need to worry about here. It's going to calculate these. This one is actually going to be calculated uh, based on these two sections here. Now, the last section has to do with the inverters here. So you would put in the mo model manufacturer. Right here, you're actually going to check mark the one of the three types of uh, technologies that are being used. Um, in the PDF will be where you would check it off. So you have to physically um, check that off. The last part is also going to have to be
be that you're going to have to check off this section also. Uh, you're going to have to put in um, all the all of the different costs associated with it. However, it will all be on the Excel file. The last piece of information has to do with the system installation information. Um, all the information will be put on there. Um, the only period that's used over here is in the DC rated factor. Everything else does not have uh, the information. Now, after you uh, have the, the document filled out, there's two pieces of information that you will have to upload for the Duke Energy. The first is a uh, signed contract, and uh, you would upload it once. And then the second one has to do with the um, uh, it has to do with a solar analysis that is done um, on the actual it's um, on the project. It's called a Pathfinder report. Now, what you need to do is you need to upload it once. Do not go back and press it again because if you upload it more than once or you press the button to upload it, then it will kick you out of the system. So I just want to reiterate that you cannot, um, if you are clicking on it and you're uploading, make sure not to upload it, upload it more than one time because if you upload it more than one time, then it's going to kick you out. On the bottom of the page is an example of the demo section, and you can actually go in here and you can test out the information, um, and you can clock yourself on uh, putting in uh, the information in ahead of time. The last thing I wanted to point out is actually um, showing you the information. So right now I'm going to show you how you logged in and uh, to show you exactly how the program actually works and how, uh, how it looks. So what we're doing now is I'm going to log in right here. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen when you log in to the actual application. And this is one of the customers. So as you can see, we are going to have an Excel file that you're going to have available. And so what you can do is you can copy and paste all the information in to the actual document. So we're going to copy the first name and the password into the actual document. When you look at it, this is the actual SunSense program, and this program can only be completed, uh, can only be completed when the actual document is uh, being um, at 1.30 p.m. on January 14th. Again, you can only access these different sections. Again, as it says that the, all the funding is um, not available, as you can see, it has to deal with the contract information, system information, and the confirmation. So again, uh, you can uh, go into here, and you can go into the application process, and you can click on the online application to be able to uh, fill it in. So again, uh, again, this is going to be on January 13th or January 14th at 1.30 p.m. In the next uh, tutorial, we'll actually show you how to install the RoboForm program, which will be able to help you out with the actual uh, rebate process.